knowing when is the right time to pick your pumpkin can be a bit of a daunting task especially for the beginning gardener because you don't know exactly know all the time or it's not very evident when a pumpkin is just ripe enough that is not too ripe but ripe enough so that you could pick it but don't worry in this video we're going to be talking exactly about some signs that can tell you for sure whether or not your pumpkin is ready to pick or not to pick let's do it Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining in. This is Dylan from the Training Gardener channel and I'm super excited to bring this video to you all because I've been waiting on this video for a long time, waiting for this pumpkin to be at the right moment to pick. So I can show you all exactly how I know that this pumpkin is ready to be picked and how I know that some other pumpkins that I have here are not quite there as yet. Okay, I'm going to be showing you three super easy ways to pinpoint exactly when your pumpkin should be picked and when not to pick it. So the first way that you can know that your pumpkin is ready to be picked is by the leaves starting to dry around it. So if you see this pumpkin here, you can see that the leaves here are starting to die away. Right, these are not healthy leaves. These are leaves that are about to more or less um, drop and rot. Okay, so that tells me that's the first sign that the pumpkin that is here is ready to be picked. The second thing that we're going to be looking at is the color of the pumpkin. Now, this variety of pumpkin here tends to get a bit on the sort of salmon color, right? Um, it's like yellow, um, a mix between like yellow and peach almost, right? Almost like a very light um, orange, right? This used to be a different color, so I'll show you what a younger one looked like. But this is another sign that the pumpkin is ready to go. And the last trick for knowing when your pumpkin is just ready to go is, I'll bring you all closer in here, and you'll be able to see that there's a little squiggly sort of vein or like a little stem that will start to dry around your pumpkin. Uh, when you see that being starting to dry then you know for sure that the pumpkin is ready to go now you don't want to pick your pumpkin when it is too green or it's not quite there yet otherwise it'll have a lot of moisture still in it and the flavor is not going to quite be there yet in your pumpkin if you've ever cut into a pumpkin and it's really really wet on the inside normally that's because it wasn't fully fully ripe ready to go so what you'll do um, it's not completely inedible all you have to do is um, cut it up put it in the sun and let the sun sort of um, manually dry off some of that moisture from there and then it's pretty much okay enough okay and you don't want this to get too ripe because then it'll pretty much just be good for making things like pumpkin pie okay so let's have a look now at what a younger pumpkin that is more or less the same size as this one would look like um, even though it's the same size and some things that might be similar we know for sure it's not ready to be picked so just follow me to the other pumpkin it's on the same vine which is nice about this pumpkin vine that we got two big pumpkins from it. Okay, have a look at this one. This one might just be a little bit bigger than the first ripe one that I showed you. Okay, so I mean it's more or less a good size. So you might think that this is ready to um, pick, right? And another thing is that you see me just knock a bit on the pumpkin. Some people say that if you knock on the pumpkin and it you know sounds a little bit hollow, that means the pumpkin is ripe. I don't know if it works for everyone, but it doesn't work for me at all. So um, I don't trust that method at all. That, that doesn't mean the method is wrong. It just means it doesn't work for me. Um, so let's look at some of the things I talked about. So let's look at the leaves over here. You can see the leaves, right? They're nice and they're perky. Okay, even if you see a little bit of the color in there, right? Um, these leaves are not dying. They're not falling over themselves. So these are healthy leaves. Um, still, they're not the most healthy leaves, but they aren't dying yet. So that's one of the ways I know that this pumpkin isn't ready yet. But that's not the only way. Let's look at the second thing that I talked to you all about. Look at the color of this pumpkin. Right, so I can see some yellowing on a certain part of it here. But for the most part, I'm seeing mostly green. And I know that this variety of pumpkin, I'm not actually sure of the name of the variety, but I know that this pumpkin here is meant to get a really nice sort of yellow orangey color that i just showed you all and this is not it so this pumpkin is it may be okay ish if i were to pick it but it wouldn't be a good idea unless i really had to pick it like if i was selling or something like that um i'm gonna leave this pumpkin for maybe a good few weeks again up to a month again all right and the last thing that i talked about with looking at the stem so have a look at the curly stem near to where this pumpkin is coming from so this is the curly stem here and I'll bring you all closer to see it and if you look at this curly stem the entire thing is so healthy and green it's holding on to this stick so strongly 
because it's so um, it's so young still. So that means that this pumpkin is definitely not ready. And if I were to pick it, I'd be rubbing the pumpkin of some well needed nutrients that the pumpkin wants to use to ripen. So this is not ready to be picked just yet. One of the things that you want to do when you're picking it is you don't want to cut close to the stem. The base of the stem is on the pumpkin, so this way rather than closer on this side. Okay, there we go. All right. Wow. This is a massive baby. Okay, let me see if I can lift it up. Oh, oh my God. All right, there we go. Our little pumpkin baby. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about why I cut this time over here. Um, especially for people who live more or less in temperate countries, um, cutting the stem um, this way helps preserve the pumpkin for a lot longer. Because some people, like people in Trinidad, might not quite understand this, but people who don't really have um, a temperate climate like Trinidad and they only have a grain season that's probably like six to uh, maybe eight months for the year, what they do is they would um, pick their pumpkins like this and then let it cure, put it in their pantries, and that could store for maybe six to eight months again. All right, so picking it like that will help preserve the pumpkin, especially if you have a lot of pumpkin um, and you can't eat all of it at once and you don't plan to sell it. Um, this is a good way to help your pumpkin to stay longer and um, not um, spoil more or less on you. Now, the last thing you want to do is when you pick your pumpkin, a good idea is to just sort of let it sit outside, maybe let it sit in the sun um, for about a week to two weeks. And that'll just help the um, plant itself to um, just gather all the flavor all the moisture you don't absolutely have to once the pumpkin is completely ready to go um, it's just a tradition that i heard about and i've tried it and i find that it really does help um, with that sweetness it helps the sugars to just sort of i don't know crystallize or something so it's just a little recommendation here from the training garden to help your pumpkin um, pies and your pumpkin choker teas is uh, really really good and that's it that's all you really need to know for picking your pumpkin right on time pumpkin is sort of the opposite of your okra remember from my okra grain guide i talked to you about a fruit or vegetable basically being perfect from the time um, it starts to bear until the time that you pick it um, and you don't want it to stay too long pumpkin is sort of like the opposite where it gets really big like the second one i showed you but you still need to keep on waiting 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 until it's ready if you pick it too young um, unlike an okra it's now going to be um, completely good not completely useless just not really a good idea and i really hope that you understood that from this video i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it for you i hope as well that you'll share this uh, video with somebody that may be interested in it and this will hopefully help them to grow more food and more delicious nice pumpkins for themselves and help feed their family for a long time remember you can follow us on instagram and on tiktok um, to see videos coming out of our garden all the time or you can tag us in um, pictures and videos of your garden always happy to see what you're getting up to remember as always this has been the from the training gardener channel reminding you to get up and get growing take care